Hey Virgo, it is Meg with Padme's. And I am doing your love reading for June 10 through 17. And we are looking at the situation that you are in. We're looking at your energy. We're looking at the energy of the person that you're thinking of. And we're going to look at the energy that binds you, that connects you. We're going to look at the energy that maybe you don't see coming for the week ahead. And we'll find out what your person wants to say to you. Okay. We did have the hanged man fall out. So I'm going to put him back in because we're not putting any cards down just yet. But he did come out, so we'll note that energy. This is kind of being on hold type of energy, on pause type energy, but we'll see what happens here. So we're calling in our angels and guides of the highest vibrations of love and light, because I don't want to talk to anybody else. And this is for Virgo, sun, moon, rising, or Venus placements. Okay, here we go. So here is the situation, energy of the situation. Here is your energy. Virgo, here is the person that you are thinking of. Here is the energy that binds the two of you together. And here's the energy that maybe you're not seeing coming forward this month. So we're going to clarify all of this. You know, especially with that hanged man just jumping out too. Here is the Eight of Cups. And this is about being emotionally unavailable or being emotionally ready to move forward, move forward and away from something. And yeah, here is this Knight of Cups and the Knight of Cups is reversed. This is somebody who is not charging forward with their love. That's like the Knight of Cups is on a quest for love and they're, they're not questing for love. It, this, this looks like there's some kind of separation. And here's somebody who is, really holding on to all of their resources and not giving away their resources, but also protecting their heart. So somebody is being closed off with the emotions. Yeah, it does. It feels like they're also um, clearing their space, clearing their heart chakra. It's like um, they're trying to figure some things out emotionally. So we'll clarify all this in just a moment, but let's look at your energy. Your energy is talking about going off on a new adventure. Like I'm out, I'm off, I'm trusting the universe and here we go. And this is a major arcana. This is like maybe a huge decision, maybe a big decision and maybe a decision that you're not really going to go back on. This is possibly your decision to no longer be in this situation, whatever it is. And then here we have the five of swords reversed. This can be uh, self-sabotage, but this for me can also be some kind of betrayal that was found out, past betrayal that you had a realization about. And you're kind of like, I'm out of here. So here also is the high priestess. This is you, Virgo, completely trusting your intuition and maybe even having the whole story and not even giving somebody like the time of day. Once you found out whatever you found out, you were like, Psh, I'm out of here. I'm not even going to talk to you about this anymore. Wow. Okay, we're going to clarify, but let's look at your person's energy. Your person is talking about feeling like they have to, they're feeling, they're feeling how you are holding out on energy. You're not giving them any energy. They're like, I have to fix my own crown. You're not, you're not here with me. They're, they're talking about self-validating because they are feeling your absence. Here's the four of cups also. And this is like, you know, they're not, they're not willing to make a decision about something. It's like they're not willing to commit or have conviction. Mm. And here is the seven of swords. So this is about possibly them kind of sneaking off and sneaking away. You know, if you found out secrets here, 
that is apparent and it's like you're ready to to leave but this is also about finding those secrets out and not necessarily telling this other person that you know and so they're like i've been a sneaky monkey but they don't know why you're doing this they they have an idea but they don't want to say anything because they don't want you to know if you don't know wow okay So let's get the energy that bonds the two of you, that binds you together. Oh, you're both heartbroken. There's heartbreak here. This, I mean, looking at this energy, this person isn't focused on heartbreak. It doesn't look like you're focused on heartbreak, but there's definitely like, I'm emotionally not available. I'm no longer pursuing this relationship. I've shut down, but maybe that's it, the shutdown. Both of you have experienced things in the past. You have experienced heartbreak in the past. And perhaps there is this shutdown of the heart chakra that both of you understand. Let's clarify. And, you know, I want to clarify with this one's lighting up. So this may be Lenormand. Okay. So we're clarifying this eight of cups, this moving on emotionally, emotionally ready to go forward and move away from something that perhaps went on for a while. Yeah. And here's some healing that wants to happen. It's like somebody wants to go off into the brush and heal themselves. And this is also the seven of cups. So it's like, I just want to look for new options. That doesn't necessarily mean new options in love. It's more like I want to look for different opportunities that are going to make my heart feel good. And let's take a look at this Knight of Cups reversed. This Knight of Cups reversed, Virgo. They're like, I am clearing the fog. I am clearing the fog. I am no longer pursuing this is also the king of wands. This is somebody who's wanting to really, I mean, talk about those opportunities over here, just wanting your heart to feel better. This king of wands is wanting to do something passionate and exciting. This can have to do with another relationship, but it's also just, I want to redirect my attention and my energetic focus because I want, oh, I'm hearing, I'm going to have purpose. I also feel like somebody feels like the pursuing that they did do was in vain somehow. Okay, and then this four of pentacles. Wow, all right. So this actually looks like a pentacle right now. This is the two of pentacles, so this would be juggling. Somebody's like saying, wow, you win an award, sir. You win an award, ma'am, whatever, but like, Look at that, 444. So somebody's being like defensive, but it's almost like the sarcastic, being impressed sarcastically, like, wow, you really juggled a whole, you know, a whole bunch of people or whatever. That is funny that it's coming in that way, but it does, it feels like a sarcastic, wow, you won an award for that action. <laughs> But what you're really saying too is that it shut you down. It made you defensive. It pushed somebody away. You closed your heart off. You or your person. I feel like it was you though, Virgo. Okay. So let's take a look at your energy, Virgo. Let's take a look at the fool. Going off in a new direction and yeah this card to me is all about really just wanting to enjoy yourself wanting to look at the universe for all the universe has to offer all these opportunities all these things like it's almost like saying there are billions of people in this world i'm out i'm off to find them here's the three of cups up here too it's like i'm off to celebrate life I don't need to really put up with this. The thing is, I want to say this too, because this heartbreak is 
what connects the two of you, I feel like there's something here that needs to be dealt with around that. The healing of this heartbreak, whether it's with this person or not, the healing of this heart, this broken heart needs to happen for both of you together or not. But dealing with it, not ignoring it, but going off and experiencing a wonderful life and, you know, not being treated out of your worth is definitely going to heal that. It's going to be part of that healing. Let's look at these shenanigans. Let's look at this betrayal that happened in the past that was found out. Here is your intuition again, Virgo. So here we have this high priestess, these hidden secrets that really came to light ultimately because you followed your intuition. That's what it feels like. You know, you knew, you found out. And the high priestess, oof, the high priestess is like, that this is, I feel like you found out about a bunch of things because this is happening. It's like, it's happened over and over. It's stuff that you found out about that's happened over and over. Okay, let's take a look at your person's energy here. And they're saying, they're recognizing that you have pulled away. They are recognizing that you may know about this sneaky monkey business. And they're not saying anything about it. And they realize that your energy is not there now. They are calling you their star. Here is the six of cups too. Like this, they're saying that they see you as like a soulmate type energy. So then why they're doing this weird stuff we'll ask about, but let's just get, they're saying that they see you as a soulmate, that you're keeping to yourself, you have pulled your energy away, and they're also seeing you as a stable person. They're saying, what I'm hearing, it's funny that you're going off into the universe and you're trusting the universe. They're saying that life loves you like you're a lucky person. Life loves you. Huh. And here is this seven of swords. Oh, I get it. Uh, they're saying, they're speaking from their heart, but they're speaking from their broken heart from the past. And they're saying almost like they're leaving you before you leave them. Or that's what that was about. That's what these betrayals were about. It's not rational, it's just patterns, but they're like, they're self-sabotaging. This is self-sabotage. And they're pretty deep in, oh, I wanna say denial. This is strange, I wanna say denial and witness. It's like they are projecting onto you or they're seeing what it is that you're doing, but they are not seeing that they're doing the same thing. Wow. Virgo, let's take a look at this. Let's take a look at this broken heart. I feel like both of you have been betrayed in the past and your hearts have been broken in the past and that's what you're having in common. There's, yeah, this person, it's like, Here's the four of cups again, and they came up as the four of cups here. They're really not willing to look at themselves. They're even saying, oh, you have it better than me. It's almost like they're, it's not that they're jealous, but, oh, they're, they feel unworthy is what they feel like. They feel unworthy. And so that's why they're self-sabotaging. They, they feel like you couldn't possibly want them for the right reasons or want them. They see you as a soulmate, but they've been hurt in the past, but this is what binds the two of you together. So have you, so here's your four of cups too. And here's this little piglet that is waiting for his demise. This is a scary card for me, but it's like, 
I'm always waiting for the other shoe to drop. I'm always waiting for something not to work out. So here you are going to protect yourself, which not right, not wrong, just it is what it is. I mean, once you've been betrayed, that's one of the options you leave because you don't need to be treated that way. And then this person, what happens when they're waiting for demise is they do that sneaky monkey business. So they have something else to fall back on because they're afraid the thing that they really want isn't going to stay. All right. Wow. So let's take a look at energy that perhaps you don't see coming this week. Here we have an open door. We have the page of wands, a new prospect, a new opportunity. Wow, and I would say a new opportunity in love. There's at least a new opportunity for a lot of love feelings, flirtatious feelings. And here is, there's, there's some conflict around this though. Because here's the six of wands. It is a victory card, but it's reversed. So it's like you're still in the battle. There's something about still being in the battle. I feel like what this battle is, it's not necessarily a battle with this specifically, this person. You're still in the battle because this heart hasn't been healed. So even if you get into a new flirtation or a new love situation, there's some being closed off here. This heart is closed off still. I'm not completely open to having this for a new relationship. But let's clarify this page of wands. It is romantic. There's a new romantic opportunity. Yeah. And this 10 of cups, this is also the sun. This is a great opportunity. It's like, talk about this person saying that you're lucky. Like you draw people in that are like people that have great energy. I even want to say this person feels like they have some really good energy. There's a choice here that they made that wasn't good, but it feels like there's new energy that you're pulling in that feels more healing that can help you trigger more healing rather than trigger old patterns that don't serve you so that you get to that place of healing. This person or this situation feels more like um, it gets you over the hump of that, I guess. <laughs> I don't want it to sound like that, but okay, let's look at the battle here. Still being in the battle. Yeah, because of that, it might keep this new person in the friend zone. Even if you're physical, which is a possibility, you're still like keeping them in the friend zone. Okay, I want to take a look at these messages of love, Virgo, for this person that you're thinking about here. Interference, an external party is intruding on this relationship. Well, there is that third party. All right. And true love, this love is emotional, physical, and unconditional. There's definitely a connection here. And we have new love, a new love or recommitment to love is developing. I feel more so like it's the new love that's coming in and coming in fast. It feels like, like a new, a new person coming in here, Virgo. Let's take a look at probable outcomes for this situation before we ask the romance oracle, some advice for you, but probable outcomes for this situation, for this relationship, for this connection. 
Here we have the King of Pentacles reversed. A probable outcome and that does have to do with not committing. This also has to do with, it can have to do with infidelity. And here is the, the Knight of Pentacles. For me, the Knights are always in action. They're always moving forward. They're always on a quest. And when the Knight of Pentacles is reversed, it's a complete halt for me. So it's like there's some, someone is ungrounding. The masculine energy or the doing energy is ungrounding from this situation and halting things. They're taking their resources out. They're protecting themselves. You know, it's so interesting too, because a lot of this is about resources, protecting resources. It's like the very energy that keeps you going. It's like, I don't have time for this. I don't have energy for this. I can't be drained by this type of behavior. Wow, and here's the chariot reversed. I, The probable outcome for this particular connection looks like there's a big challenge in moving ahead and moving forward. Not only a challenge, but the energy is being pulled out of any motion forward. Something has to be healed before this connection could really continue forward. And that something has a lot to do with both both of you healing from past indiscretions is what it looks like, but then healing that between each other. I wanna know what this person's next actions toward you will be. I think that they, they know why you left, whether you told them or not. You may have, but I know some of you just took off and were like, no, not doing it. I think they know, or at least they feel like you just fell out of love with them, even though they knew that they did some sneaky monkey stuff. So they're not really coming forward toward you because they don't think that you want them to, for whatever reason, whether they just think you don't, you're not in love with them anymore, or whether they think that you know. I feel like they're not admitting it. They're not admitting it, right? And their next action toward you is the hanged man. So they, they're not moving forward, mostly because, well, first of all, they feel rejected. Even so, it's not rational, but they feel rejected. But they also, um, they don't want to talk about the truth because ultimately they don't, they're not ready to heal their heart yet. It's too scary. They also feel like you already have somebody else. And you very well may this next week. All right, let's ask the Romance Oracle Virgo. What kind of advice do you have for this week, for this energy? Oh, deception. You are dealing with deception and it looks like you are walking away from it. You are halting it and you are not entertaining it. I also want to say someone is wearing a false self mask in this relationship. They're not showing you the truth. They're protecting themselves because they're too hurt. But here we have true love. I feel like ultimately true love is coming in but in this case it's more like do will you see it or will you entertain true love or keep it in the friend zone this this needs some healing your heart needs some healing free yourself free yourself so you can accept new love that's what i really feel You got this true love and this new love up here as well. And you got true love. True love is on its way if it's not already right there. So I don't feel like it's this person. I feel like it's this new person that's coming in really soon. Okay, Virgo, let me know how this resonated. Tell me your story and what's going on with you. Like and subscribe and I'll be back in a couple of days to do another energy check. All right, Virgo. See you later.